Hello, Lee. <clears throat> Sorry. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Nick here. This is just a quick reaction video to some news that I heard last night concerning Chicken Run 2, which is going to be a sequel to Arden's first feature-length animated film, Chicken Run, released in 2000. And the follow-up will be, uh, I don't know when, but it's coming um, at some point. And also, it will be the ninth feature animated film by Arden. Ooh, bless you. Um, but the news I wanted to address is apparently a recasting of the character, the main two characters of the first film, Ginger and Rocky, um, played by Julius Wafala and Mel Gibson, respectively. Now, <clears throat> apparently Mel Gibson, uh, there's been some issues with him. I'm not quite sure what. So apparently he might, um, there might be some issues surrounding him. There might be some controversy. I'm not exactly sure what. But apparently he's uh, let, been let go due to his voice sounding too old, with the theories suggesting that they may have dropped him due to, to avoiding having a connection with him. I'm not entirely sure about that, so I can't really comment, although I am disappointed Mel Gibson will not be returning. Oh, sorry for noise outside. However, what is not excusable is Julius Wafala's not uh, being dropped. I do not know why, but they're claiming because she's too old to voice her character and she's saying no that's not the case and many people are agreeing with her um so Hardman, why are you dropping julius Ravala? or are you really under the belief that she does sound too old by judging how she sounded in 2016 in absolutely fabulous no i would not uh the movie i would not say she was too old to voice ginger in fact especially if depending when this film takes place after the first film if it's 20 or so years later absolutely fine so why is there being recast or why are they so concerned about her sounding older and why do they believe she sound or, or why do they believe that her sounding older would not fit the character unless it's directly before or directly afterwards the film sorry when i said directly before i meant directly afterwards um or it's a prequel so yeah i don't understand what what is the why um she does sound too old i'm sure um, sure she could still get away with it. Helen Hunt sounded uh, a little bit too old to voice uh, Mrs. Incredible in Incredibles 2, and she's still, she was still really great there. Um, and it worked for that film, so I don't see why Julia Swifala, who probably still sounds as young as she did back in 2000, to voice her character Ginger in Chicken Run 2. And also Big Finish, the Doctor Who, um, or, well, the, or the audio uh, production company that make, amongst other audios, Doctor Who. Uh, I've got the light at the end right here, as well as a couple of others. But, yeah, they've got actors who have played their characters back 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 50 almost years. Yeah, 50 if you include actors like Ian Chess, um, William Russell, Peter Purves, and Fraser Hines, Wendy Padbury, Annika Wells. They've, done, they've played their characters 50 or so years ago, almost 60 coming up to the 60th anniversary in three years, and I'm looking, I'm happy to say that. Um, so, yeah, it does, and they still voice their characters sometimes, so I don't quite get Ardman's reasoning. So, Ardman dropping Julia Swiffana because she sounds too old doesn't make sense. Even if she did sound older, it still wouldn't make sense. Plus, it's a bad move dropping an actor reprising the role of the character they played, especially one from years back, and one of the reasons you're going to see a sequel, as well as to see the story continues, to see the same people, uh, or hear the same people in an animated case, story's case. That was enough. That was a reason I was worried that when India, Indina Menzel was rumoured not to be coming back for Frozen 2, I was a bit worried about that, but thankfully she did come back. Um, but yeah, that. So yeah, I'm not sure what Arden's reasoning is. Hopefully they can sort this out. Hopefully Swifala will be recast. Uh, what do I say recast? She'll be brought back in to voice Ginger and they will not They will not recast the role. Hopefully Mel Gibson will be back on board, but I'm not sure. I don't know what his um, his thoughts on being let go is. Um, but it's, um, if it's issues with him um, on another level, I can see why they would drop him. But as for Swifala, I don't get it. So, hopefully Arden can fix this mistake and bring back Julius Swifala, and if so, also possible Mel Gibson, depending on how they feel about that. Um, that's basically just my thoughts and opinions on that. I think it's a bad idea.
I think they should bring back. I think Julie Stefano should voice Ginger. If they want to distance from Zeth themselves from Mel Gibson, fair enough. But at least um, be honest about it. Um, but if they can bring him back, that'd be good. That'd be great as well. Um, so that's basically about it. Again, sorry for any noise outside. Um, okay, so before we go, just want to quickly say that uh, this these channels are on the high hiatus for a bit. Um, back in my image editing issue, uh, edit software issues, so wasn't able to do proper videos apart from the ones being released that have been previously edited by. Uh, that points that were coming out on the retro channel by the end of the month of May plus some audio channel stuff I'd already covered this I think perhaps in another video But apart from some of these um, unedited filmed ones I haven't been able to edit any videos apart from a few that I did during a, tr a free trial week and, um, So I was able to film and edit some videos there during that week that have gone out on across some of the channels but uh, we're going to still get the new editing software at the start at the end of this month start of next month so you'll be getting edited videos back by start or uh, at least early august uh, maybe even the end of july if possible but i'm not entirely certain definitely early august um and I can definitely say that there will be the James Bond novels will be some of the first uh, videos to be coming back out on the Retro Channel as I filmed Divinette Dies. I've just finished reading Moonraker, and I'll be reviewing that later in the week. Diamonds After Forever. I'm also hoping to read quickly before we go on. I go on holiday and review that before we go, and then from Russia of Love, and maybe also Doctor No will probably follow that within the following two weeks. Um, so you'll get at least four, maybe even five James Bond book reviews in early early um, August. Um, so that's coming in. I've got an idea for Universal's video that I came up with recently that is a short one that maybe some of the guys could edit if I asked them nicely. But if it doesn't come out in July, it will come out in early August. And there are, the only other thing that I've got planned at the moment is a film review of Thomas and the Magic Railroad, for which I've actually written a script for the sketch for. Um, that will also come out in August. I'm going to film the sketch and the re review of that. Um, other than that, there's not going to be much else. Um, cinema's probably going to be reopening this month, if not next month. So there will be some cinema film reviews once I get back into watching films at the cinema, which will probably be August um, as well. So those will probably come up as well. Apparently Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out over here in August, so that'll be cool. And uh, I'm interested in the Tenant film by Christopher Nolan. So hopefully, fingers crossed... Um, but as far as videos on this channel are, apart from these sort of videos where it's unedited filmed ones going direct to the main channel or the retro channel, depending on what happens, no new edited content until late July at earliest, early August at most likely. Um, and when it does come up, it will most um, the first ones that you'll get will be the the James Bond book reviews from Live Let Die through to From Rush of Love, maybe also Doctor No. Um, and Doctor Who reviews will, of course, continue in August once this is all sorted out. And we'll continue with the 11th hour. I'm also going to do the Tardisodes that Series 2 had. So I'm going to do that before we jump into Series 5. I uh, might film that in this month. But I will resume Doctor Who reviews once I've got this all sorted. Um, so that's really about it with this discussion. Uh, well, I say discussion. My thoughts and opinions. Um, my reaction to this news. I think it's a bad idea on Arsene's part. Um, um, but hopefully Chicken Run 2 will still be good. And also a quick update about what's happening with these channels. So yeah, this, these channels are on hiatus to August. Um, for, apart from maybe stuff like this. Um, but when we get to August, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got plenty of stuff coming up. Um, so that's really about it. Um, thank you for watching. Um, sorry it's been a bit short. And sorry for all the in, uh, noise outside. I hope you could, were still able to hear this. Um, if not, I'll get up and refilm this. Um, just give me a shout in the comments if you want me to refilm the thing. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.